Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? I hope you're having a lovely whatever it is for you. Uh, we're back with some more Red Dead Redemption. It's been a couple of weeks since I played this one. I took last Saturday off to go to a party. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're back with this. We got a bunch of quests available to us. Um, so what have we got? We got John Marston over here at Caliga Hall with a quest that's called horse flesh for dinner, which makes me very slightly concerned. Uh, but <laughs> something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. That sounds mm, interesting anyway. Uh, and then Hosea over at the Braithwaite Manor, uh, where we're trying to ingratiate ourselves onto the Braithwaite's. Love that. And then Strauss wants to talk to us, but this is a side quest, so I'm probably going to leave that one. And then we've got Dutch uh, asking us to find out more about the bounty hunters that Trelawney mentioned, and Lenny just needs to speak to me. But I think we're just going to go with the closest option, uh, the closest main quest option at least. I'm just going to go talk to Dutch. Or do do what it is the Dutch wants us to do. I don't know if we're actually talking to Dutch. <clears throat> yes. I don't know what, why does it do this every time? Is there a way to stop that from happening every time? <laughs> I don't even really read it these days. I just say yes. Alright, where is Dutch? There is Dutch. Hello, Dutch. What you got going on for me? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. I'll be honest, I don't really remember what this was. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Don't remember what the uh, bounty hunters were and what we were told about the bounty hunters, but anyway, that's fine. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Doesn't get much of a choice, does he? Bit rude. All right, now it's been a while. What is the mount horse button? One of these buttons is mount horse. One of them is punch. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally punch my horse again. Would not be the first time. Is Charles with me? I assume that's him. I can hear riding up behind me. Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. Oh, right. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Chelawney's the weird magician oh, dude, right? Bad. We so rescued him recently. That fool of a sheriff who runs that town. I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. <laughs> On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> as long as they don't know about, uh, or at least as long as the ones we're working for don't know about the ones we're running from, we're fine. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. Got to find out some more about it before we start worrying. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's he's a strange <laughs> That's a, a word that can be used to describe Trelawney. But he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us. I quite like Trelawney, he's funny. It is fancy suit. Ooh. Got a Fancy little caravan setup going on here too. Alright, 
guess I'm just leaving my horse there. I was trying to find somewhere to hitch it, but anyway. Not an option. It just kicked me off my horse, by the way. If, yeah. Someone got I, here I didn't actually get off the horse myself. Oh, it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Oh, I don't need any cigars. What a shame. Ooh, a clue. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Alright, what else can we look at? Oh, man. A lot of stuff to look at. Which of it is clues, though? I think a lot of it was just places to search and things to steal. What is this? Common stock. Found anything? Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company certificate. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. There, this is to certify that is the holder of shares inclusive in the above company subject to the provision of the memorandum and articles of association there? thereof and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares secretary something so it's a blank uh share distribution all right what else what else can i look at mm. Is this a wash tub? Look, I guess right. maybe uh, 12 hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. Alright, let's go. Hey, boy. Are you, you leading, Charles? No, I'm leading. Alright. How's your tracking these days? That's All great. Right, I guess. I'm a fantastic tracker. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. <laughs> yeah, it sounds more like Trelawney. When me and Javier it was a pretty nice caravan shot. setup, I'll give him that. I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. <laughs> I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah, I still ain't sure about that. Did I just lose the trail? Ooh, I see. They've gone off this way. The tracks head up that path. Hello. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing's wrong. I've just found Trelawney. Found someone. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. Mm, found a couple of random dudes. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? <laughs> strange. He's really bad at this line of questioning. <laughs> formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. Alright, you two. I have to beat these two up. Ooh, now I have the issue I always have. Every time I had to fight someone, I've forgotten all of the controls for fighting. Circle. Circle is punch. Apparently. Okay. You stay there. Interrogate. At least Charles kept his alive. Well, awake, I guess. I don't think I killed him. Just knocked him out. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? No, not cornfields. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Cornfields are always dangerous. Uh, beat him. And release him. Let me see you again. You hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Ooh, my horse is over here now, apparently. That's not where you were just before. Come on, let's go. 
Uh, do I know where oh, I'm going? I think a way around, so we don't okay. have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Thanks, Charles. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Very helpful. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? I mean, there were bounty hunters after us, apparently. He'd sell his own system. And he knows where we are. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. <laughs> I don't know why Dutch still I feel like he knows more than uh, you think he does. He's got his uses, and well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Too bad it doesn't seem to matter to Trelawney. Is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. You just said he would sell his sister for a train fare. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Doesn't sound very loyal to me. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? <laughs> he somehow manages to be both lucky and I mean, he brings us some time. very important and yeah, interesting information. Way looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay Yeah, back. exactly. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the So line. you just said his special talent was talking without saying anything. All right, fine. People can have multiple special talents, I guess. Suppose that's allowed. How does Charles seem to know exactly where it is that we're going? impressive. I guess he's the tracker dude. He probably did some scouting when we arrived. Oh, I have no stamina. Oh my Whoa. goodness. I gotta eat something. I wonder if I can use their campfire to cook something. The thing is, after that shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Oh, look, they've run away, but like. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay. I imagine they're gonna come back with a bunch of bad guys. Oh, oh, I'm chasing them. With my no stamina. Love this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Oh, dear. Look and listen for disturbances in the cornfields. Where are they? Is it this way? Are you pointing in the direction you want me to go? Oh, hey! Am I just trying to, sh to kill you? Is that is that my goal here? I assume it is. Ow, someone shot me. You shot me. Where are you shooting from? Where the hell are Hello, anybody? They're gonna get away. Let's find them. Oh, Charles is shooting at someone. Shit, someone's shooting at me. Hi. <laughs> Pistol whipped him. <laughs> Noise. That's Charles, right? It's not someone I should shoot. No, I didn't. Where the hell were the birds? I heard them. I did not see them. Charles seems to think he's in here somewhere. Did you see him, Charles? Hey! I see something on the ground over here! Hmm? Search the cornfield. What is this? Oh dear. Alright. 
Do I have time to eat something? Because, oh my gosh, is my stamina low. I don't even know if I have anything to eat is the problem. Ooh, chocolate bar. Yes, please. That will do very nicely. Oh, sh shoot! Well, this seems bad. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. Wait, what's he got? Of course. You okay? One yeah. cattleman revolver. Uh, no, I don't want that. Oh, Jesus. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Uh, do I have any weapon equipped right now, please? There was one up the top, too. Oops. Wrong button. Uh, switch to revolver. Where is he? I see him. There he is. Woo! Trelawney. You alright? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I It'd be funny if he's just disappeared. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. I just want to loot this man. Long. There we go. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Do I want his gun? Sort of shotgun. Nah. Uh, I hope you're right. I don't know if these guns are better than my guns. You know. Not entirely sure how the weaponry works in this game. If it has levels or anything, or if it's just a this one's a shotgun. This one's a revolver. <laughs> no idea. Oh, he is still here. Well, he's still here at least. <laughs> Put your feet up, why don't My you? thoughts, exactly. Okay? Oh, I want to try well, to use the fire. So, I've got some that? meat, I'm pretty sure. I just need You're to cook it. Uh, attached to coal Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell him? Not much. I... Told them I was really, we're gonna make him ride his own horse. Down here from Oregon. I feel like he should be riding with one of us. Universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Well, okay. he's certainly going to know where we're camped out now. <laughs> seems suspicious. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. Ew, civilization. I want to get Gross. back to the open country of the West. Or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. That was an interesting little diary moment. Alright, mission complete bronze, of course. Alright. What? Uh, so, let's take a look at where we're headed next. I feel like we've still got uh, Lenny out here, and now we've got Trelawney. Yes, Josiah Trelawney. Friends in very low paid places, <laughs> of course. Uh, but, oh, he's not here. I was going to come and see Hosea, but his quest isn't there now. Does that mean I've missed that quest? 
Uh, Alright, do we want to do John or Lenny? Let's go do John. Could be an interesting one. <laughs> no idea what's going to be happening in this quest. Um, and I should also do something about food. If I can either set up a camp just out of town or if I ride past like the general store. Ooh, I think there is a general store over here. I reckon. This looks very general. Also, people are fighting over here. Mm. That sounds like a not very fun story. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Let's see what we can buy ourselves. I'd like to browse your catalogue, please. I need, yeah, some provisions. Some canned food, perhaps? Ooh, baked beans are not bad. Kidney beans are better, though. Pineapples are really good for health. Uh, let's get some of these. Ooh, we only had three. Get a couple of these ones. Are there more? There are more canned strawberries. Canned salmon. Mm, awful gross. Uh, I guess I'll get some canned salmon because that will at least do my dead eye if I need it. These are all raw ingredients, which I don't really want. Uh, do I need anything for my horse is the question. Oat cakes, is that what my horse eats? Does my horse eat oat cakes? Done. Ooh, that gave me four. Nice. Uh, and yeah, let's get some drink of some variety. Let's get some fine brandy. We'll be fancy. Let's get a couple of fine brandies. And I think that should do us for at least a little while. Thanks, dude. Anything else? Nope. Bye. Bye. All right. Let's go see what John Marsden wants to do with the Braithwaite horses. A little bit concerned about what it is that he's planning. But anyway. I hope that Hosea one comes back. That one seemed interesting. Maybe it's like the wrong time of day or something. I'm not sure how the questing works exactly in that sense. Yes, I'm aware that I cannot use weapons. That is fine. Oh, when you were acting as a deputy sheriff. Yes, that is me. Deputy sheriff. Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sounds about right. Out by the stables. Thank you. Ooh. Have a wonderful day now. This way, apparently. I assume this is just to loop around the house, but that does sound much easier than trying to go through the house in the backyard. Alright, where are you fellas at? And what have you got going on? What are we doing? And you're helping everybody. And everywhere there's trouble. And have you I'm sorry, are you offended by me war? helping people? No. I met your son. Calm down, sir. dude. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. 
A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. A hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. Brutal. The problem is we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. <laughs> I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Where did that them? one come How from? Gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand. For horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Sounds alrighty. How many horses keep are we us talking? Away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a deputy out here stealing people's horses and selling them. Don't mind me. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Can I keep one of the horses? No offense to George. George is great. But like, ew, we're talking thoroughbreds here. Can I steal a thoroughbred for me? Crazy old fool. Like the money sounds great and all, but also. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. They're there already. They better keep their heads down. <laughs> don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He did seem a little bit confused. Even a third of that. It'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? Place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. Do I have to be stealthy again? We're there looking to purchase. Mm -hmm. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend five thousand on horses. We should go in the back way. Got though. a point. Boy, too many questions. Wouldn't that raise more questions? If you saw someone rock in the back way to your house. To buy some horses, you'd be like, why'd you come in that way? There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Thanks, dude. Someone will come see you. <laughs> Someone. Good to know. What if no one comes and sees me, then I can just take the horses. Easy peasy. As we ride through the fields, their farm. Yeah, we don't want to draw attention. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. Okie dokie. Let me do the talking. Oh, I was so nicely synchronized between the three of us. Alright. Hello, good sir. We're here to steal some horses. Hello there. 
Like, the option to antagonize was there, but grayed out. You got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! <laughs> I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some I mean, I am a sheriff's deputy, Come but, now, you know. Partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Take out the stable hand. Oh my gosh. Is there an option that's not stealth kill? Can I just stealth knock out? Brutal. Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing Oops. Equip the bandana. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. How do I what is happening? Relax, boy. Come on. Come horse. Good horsey. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? You're gonna lead the stallions. He's gonna take them all? <laughs> this horse does not seem very calm, but anyway. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Oh dear. This is obviously going to go terribly. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! Go, go, go! Go, horses! I don't want to accidentally shoot the horses here. I don't think I've shot anyone yet. Okay, I shot that guy. I didn't kill him, but I shot him. <laughs> Ooh, I shot a horse. Ooh, I'm sorry, horsey. Oh, I'm glad that means that the quest fails. <laughs> I'll say that much. Oh dear. All right, let's retry that, shall we? Go get out of here! I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Shooting you. I'm gonna shoot someone doing that. I'm trying to make that shot. Alright. Nice. Come over this side. Ooh. Thought I missed and shot his horses then. So it's definitely not as bad as shooting my own horses. Ow. I don't know how much I have to control where we're um where I'm riding right now. I think while I'm aiming it mostly rides itself. I do kind of want one of these horses. Ooh. I also do need to eat. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. Ooh, how did that not kill you? Rude. Ah. Kita! Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the resub. Oh my goodness. And I hope you're having a lovely day. But yes, continue about your. Do you go about your business. Do your. Do do your probably sleeping. I presume. <laughs>
Alright, lasso. Let's go. Let's get him. <laughs> Oops. I need to hold on to this button. Uh, can release L2 and the rope will remain attached. Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> yes, yeah, sleepies. Excellent. Get get your sleep in. Have good sleep. Get yourself nice and ready for a week of work with a good week weekend of sleep. <laughs> it's the only way to do it. Over here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Question is, if I do get to keep one of these horses, oh, which horse do I want? That could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Getting very tied up in these horses. You think they look like they're paying the black one's nice. For horses? The white one's nice. We'll the brown one's eh. Uh... Approach the rustler. Well, if I could not run into some horses, that'd be great. Oh, we're just gonna leave you doing whatever it is that you're doing here. Okay. Okay, you stay there, horse. Horse that's not attached to anything. You be good. <laughs> what you boys want? Seems dangerous, heard but you anyway. Was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. Not twins. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so. Well, good Maybe. thing he's not Cuban. Oh, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny? Hilarious. Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Is he? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I know these horses. He doesn't talk, but he's okay. Yours, he's fine. But I like you, and I'll give you. I can give you six hundred and fifty-four <laughs> each. I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you, boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. How about you no give us the 700 money. for Here, two of them, it or leave it. and I keep one of the uh -huh. horses? All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. I could have had five thousand dollars. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Oh, I don't even get to keep any? <sighs> rude. Very rude. Yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. I mean, look. We made $700 from something that we stole from someone. <laughs> It's just, it's just a bonus seven hundred dollars. It's not like we just didn't make enough profit margin on something. Uh, oh, you can sell horses to Clay and Clive. Hmm, nice. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> we still made a ton of money compared to the amount of money that we spent on this situation. Uh, all right, let's go see Lenny. I like Lenny. See what he's up to. See what Lenny would like to speak with us about. Good morning, Arthur. And uh, help him out in some way. Ooh, what's the question mark? Hello? You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? 
Uh, sure. Yes. What's been going on with you? You know, life, thieving, the huge. I don't know. I've what? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. This is a small child just continuously screaming outside somewhere. For no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> well, you know me. Sure, I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. <laughs> You're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. Ooh. She fell into the box. That was weird. Well, don't mind me, Tilly. Hey. One night when I was frisky? <laughs> sounds like he's singing something. Also, I seems kind of stuck here. Why can I not? I began to tumble and I don't need this right now. Bye, Reverend. That's why I was stuck. You got a lot on? Hello, Lenny. For all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. Why? I got something. Preaching forgiveness as he went. I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools... I think it's still in some people's minds now. ...and dealings <laughs> sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Ooh, anyway, noise. The boy Should've sold the horses to, to them. ...reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Just a bunch of crazies. Easy peasy. Said it was at some place Simple. called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. We'll see. Don't trust everything you hear, Charles. I hope George is doing alright. Also, I didn't eat. I still haven't eaten. Can I eat right now? Because, yeah, my health is bad. It's real bad. Uh, let's take some pineapples. Excellent. Delicious. All right, let's go. Catch up. Come on, Arthur. Why did you just suddenly go so much slower? So what is this angle? You know, I might have met these crazy. Yeah, there we go. That's better. You've been drinking again. It's from when I accidentally no. changed into first well, person. Yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie. <laughs> We're coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler. Yeah. Uh, and Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. Good old Sadie. <laughs> but I got a notion these fellers is one in the same. I feel like my horse might need to be cleaned. No Sorry, George. In the state of That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them. But I haven't necessarily noticed them. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a Thanks. nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But eh. most of it is a, Fine with me. A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west it's out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. Oh. Some places. Thanks, Lenny. They judge different. Well, Still do. Yes, 
guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. What? Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, Shocker. I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all <laughs> they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, Sounds good, Lenny. He's being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah, it doesn't sound like fun. I'm okay with this option over that one. I haven't quite figured out how much my horse automatically turns on roads and how much I need to manually do. Sometimes it seems fine and then sometimes I run into people. I mean, I run into people sometimes even when I'm actively controlling the horse, so, you know, can't really blame it. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. <laughs> in the bayou. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're going to want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Sounds like a good idea. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. This looks like an old battlefield. Like see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where the Ooh, my thumb's getting Civil sore War from holding the X button see, down to ride. Thing. They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. All righty. Are you getting real close to this? We're just riding <laughs> straight up. Caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. <laughs> Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Yeah, well, that's we fortunate since we just on. rode straight up to the house. Let's have us a nosy. No stealth whatsoever. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just gonna pull it back out with a perfect drawing, aren't I? You uh, me? read. Saw an old church, found it interesting, not sure why. Okay. Someone's on the track. Careful. What are we doing, Lenny? Just gonna sit here and wait for someone to come up to us? Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you. <laughs> Let's just Good blow day. it up. Worth a follow at least. Not sure how fast it's going exactly. How fast I should be going. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Yeah. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mouths up there, off the trail. Okay. Wrong side. Uh, what do I have? My repeater. Do I have like a sniper? He just said something about making sure you bring your sharpshooter. So, do I have that? I feel like I bought a uh, sniper rifle at some point, didn't I? That's a repeater. Shotgun. I guess that should be a shotgun, hey? So repeater's a r form of rifle. I think I have the same weapons, basically. 
I don't think I really changed anything, but anyway. Alright, where were we? I was covering here. Use your weapon scope to investigate Shady Bell. Good question. Uh, how do I actually, like, look down my scope? Oops. What did I just do? Ooh, person there. Alright, that opens that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Is there a way for me to actually like aim down my scopes? Cause that doesn't seem to be happening. <laughs> nope, that's just shoot. Alright, well I'm shooting people now. Get in the rock. Get it nope, nope, we went over the rock. Get into some sort of cover. Oh my goodness. This seems really bad, I'll be honest. <laughs> this is definitely not what I should have done. But anyway, here we are. Lenny, you doing a run up there, buddy? Luckily the aiming in this game is pretty nice. You just kind of auto-aim at their chest and then you just aim a little bit higher and you're good. Alright, I pr probably should get a bit closer. Oops. Oops, missed. A couple times. Okay, there we go. Take out that guy before he gets to me. Oh dear. That seems bad. <laughs> Actually, you know, not that big of an issue. Thought it was going to be much worse than that. Okay, Lenny. You you make your move, buddy. I think there's only like one or two left. I feel like I probably could have blown this up was probably what I was supposed to do by observing. Oh, I thought you died. Look out, Lenny! Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Okay. These fellas dealing hard. There might be guns in these wagons. This ain't worth taking. Let's take a look. What have they got? Can they not open that? Oh, I thought I was going to be able to open that chest. Can I get up into these? There we go. Loot the locker box. Oh, there's nothing in here. Just this one. Searching. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. Noise. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Oh, we're just gonna take the wagon. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. I hope my horse automatically follows this one. We need to get these back. Come on, horsey. Come on. G up. Fall in. Are they gonna are they gonna follow? Horsies! Ah yes, here you come. Excellent. I do like that the horses just follow the wagons. It is very nice. Hey, riders, coming our way. Oh, of course. Want 
Alright, are we shooting these people? I would like to go this way, gentlemen. Goodbye. Like Have a good day. Well, Lenny, you shoot, I ride. No, he's not going to shoot. He is not shooting. No, the guy that's shooting us is very far away. All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> there you go, Lenny. <laughs> Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I feel like the wagon got damaged. It is riding very badly. It's so bumpy. Or is it just a bumpy wagon? I don't think it was that bad to begin with. It's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth dragon. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Oh god, this so looks so I painful to ride. Better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on the Vinicus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackport. But then up but nothing. Me and Dutch and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Aww. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. I mean, I don't know how I know that that's the case. You know, I'm not in charge of this gang. I'm an important part of the gang, but I'm not in charge. How do I know things are gonna change for Lenny? I do like Lenny. I think he's probably my favorite in the gang. Charles is good. Charles is alright. Let's get there. Most of the rest of them are about even, except for Micah, who I absolutely hate. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. Oh yeah, look at that wheel. <laughs> There's a big dent in it. <laughs> Love it. Right? I'm gonna keep one just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. I just have one of the new weapons now. What if I didn't want that? I have a bolt action rifle. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know if that's good. No idea. I assume it's probably mostly good. Alright. Ooh, the Hosea quest is back. I saw the H. Look, it would make sense to do uh, Trelawney next, because we are here. But also, this one's disappeared before, so I kind of want to do this one. Just to make sure it doesn't disappear. But, before I do that... I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back shortly. I'll run a quick ad so that people don't have to do pre-rolls for a little bit. Uh, and yeah, I will see you back here in probably like three to five minutes, hopefully. All right. See you soon.
All right, I have returned. Now, let's go and see Jose and ingratiate ourselves into the lives of uh, these people. Was that the camp funds that just popped up? Or was that my money? Yeah, camp funds are 527. Mine is 995. Good. I remembered mine being close to a thousand. And then the 500 popped up. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what happened to all my money for a second. But that was the camp's money. Yes, I have almost double what the camp does for one person versus the camp for, you know, 20 people. Uh, but, you know, I'm just, I'm selfish that way, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I also just don't really buy stuff. Oh, actually, that's what I have to do. Stop. We gotta stop. We gotta get off to horse. We gotta, uh, brush the horse. Ah, so nice. And we gotta feed the horse. Mmm, delicious. I don't even know how many oat cakes I have, but, you know. Alright, that should be a little bit nicer for us both. I don't know how it really helps me, other than the fact that I can look down at their cores and uh, everything looks full, which is nice to look at. Other than that, yeah, not entirely sure how that helps me, but anyway. This is so pretty. These big trees. They're massive trees. All the way down this very long pathway, driveway, entrance thing, whatever it is that we've got going on here. Is very nice. Very nice indeed. Are these guys going to stop me? Won't disagree with you there. Hello. Hey, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Mm. Move along now. Well, that was easy. Just rock up to the place and tell them you have a meeting with someone and apparently they will just let you through. No questions asked. <gasps> Is this like a water place for my horsey? It looks like a giant bird bath. Is this a horse bath? Is this to bathe the wild horses? I hope that that is the purpose of that. I assume it's not, but you know. I can pretend it is. All right, you be a good horse. You stay there. Oh, thank you. The fine joys of tobacco. Ah, yes, indeed. So how is this going to lead to me probably have to, having to shoot some people? Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Bridges. Oh, good old cribbage. I haven't played cribbage in a while. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. Well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of... I was never good at cribbage. He is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caligar Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Hey, yes, but bonds, metal, are you giving it to me? I'm going to pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. <laughs> Sucker. Nice try, Sean. Let's get this over with. See, Sean's Sean's a good character, cause I don't think I actually like Sean as a person. 
Uh, but he's a fun character. And I love his accent. Oh, yeah, sure. No worries. Easy. So, good indication of how healthy that is for you. I suppose most alcohol is flammable. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Easy. 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 They were saying old man Gray's double security after Oh, yay. We just robbed their horses, too. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I tried to do this quest before I robbed the horses, but the game wouldn't let me. go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yep, just a nice delivery of a uh, deconstructed fireball. We also offer construction on site. For a fee, of course. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? Oh, don't think you, you actually want me to stop. Them greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide. I am a deputy here. sheriff, after all. Naturally. Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. I do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just went through that cover. That's impressive. Oh, nice. Very, very nice view that I'm getting here. Some Wait, bottles of moonshine. Can I just look from the outside? I feel like that's easier, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's kind of cool seeing from Arthur's point of view, but like, yeah. It was like being able to see. There was a thing, a, a thing at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. Oh my god. You want a bottle friend here? Oh my god. Have a wee drop. Oh no. I mean, you know, harm. Uh, I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You know, Sean, you're uh, bad. Uh, <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. There you go. Questions, I'll tell you now, lies, uh, sort of business. Yeah, you're starting to talk normal. Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Grab so this way. I'll show you how to get there. Uh, okay. You, friend, uh, cool. Have a drink, Sean. Can you be not in the carriage, please? <laughs> you can just point me in the right direction, you know. You don't have to come. Fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> Does the Scottish and the Irish get along? I know most of them hate the British. <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah. And they said they was looking This is the further you get. I jumped at the chance. The more relaxed you are about <laughs> small differences like that. 
If they were in Scotland and Ireland, they might not like each other. Being in America. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. Alright, what's our plan from here? <laughs> <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh. <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do here, Sean? I could, or I could just like let Sean try to try to handle it. That'd be funny. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I hope no one out there is watching as I do this right in the doorway. Could you have led him somewhere that wasn't right in front of the doorway, Sean? I feel like that might have helped. But anyway. You already got these things ready. Ooh, some Molotovs, hell yeah. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. I feel like she only we well everything in moonshine. Sean only told me we were doing the fields. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go. Didn't say like anything about the barn. How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they Just get Just a couple us, Molotovs. There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course, I'm rebel stock boy. I was born born in down manor houses. <laughs> quietly. Oh, I'm gonna have to be stealthy again, aren't I? Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. Hmm. This one didn't. Strange. Very strange. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the field. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> one thing at a time, Sean. Please. I'll take care of this fella. Okay. You do that. Uh, there's red around like half of my map. It's a little concerning. the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Where are you taking him? <laughs> Alright, let's go uh, douse some fields, I guess. I don't know if I should be just standing up and running now. No, there's a dude in there. I definitely shouldn't. I don't know how doused the fields have to be. Okay, so guards can't see us as easily while we're in the fields. That's good. That, do it. that guy, does he like turn around, do we reckon? Okay, he's turned around right now. Is that another guy over there? I feel like that's another one right there. I hope this guy doesn't turn around. Please don't turn around. Okay, okay. We should be good now. I am kind of tempted just to kill him anyway. Uh, You know? 
so that we don't have to deal with them later. Oh, I have like a percentage. That must be my moonshine percentage because that was going down. 69%. Uh, does he... I thought he was, like, standing right up against this field with his... facing the other way earlier. I thought that would have been a good opportunity... A opportunity... to stealth kill him. But anyway, that's fine. In theory, we shouldn't have to kill everyone. Potentially shouldn't have to kill anyone else. There's a guy down there looking this way, which makes me concerned. I was going to try to kill this guy. But now I'm nervous about doing that. I feel like they're probably walking faster than me. Yeah, I don't think I can catch him at this speed. That's right. We're just gonna keep pouring our moonshine and just avoiding guards for the time being. Pretty sure the way I'm pouring this would not actually be useful, but you know, that's fine. Game says it's good, so it's good. Should be enough for here. <laughs> I guess just walking into a barrel. Oh, he he's free. He's free of the barrel. Wait for him to turn around and cross over. I don't know if it matters how dense or how tall the tobacco are that I'm hiding in, if that influences whether or not I'm actually hidden. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Trying to stick to the tall stuff when I'm actually close to any guards. Right, I think this is our last patch. Excellent. I still had 33% left. Alright, let's go meet Sean at the barn. Without being seen, preferably. And this like up and down movement we're getting. I'm not doing this. This is just happening this way. I assume because the planted rows have different heights. Oh, that was Sean, right? Not not a bad guy. I believe that's Sean doing some murdering. Alright, burn the barn. Equip fire bottles, they call them. Pretty sure they're called Molotov cocktails, but anyway. You didn't have to throw one as well, Sean. That was a waste. Ah! I'm getting shot. I gotta change weapon. Ooh. Oh, did you kill him? Ow, someone's still shooting me. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Ooh, gosh. Where can I hide? I need some cover. This one. Cover. There we go. 
Ew. Oh, God, they're on this side. This is a goddamn mess. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I've got the new weapon, don't I? I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, dear. I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. <sighs> Come on. Ooh, I nearly shot that horse. I would have felt real bad. Just shooting that guy's ankles. Who is it that's shooting us over here? You. <laughs> this guy's limping because I kept shooting his foot. <laughs> Come on. Get him. There we go. Oh god. More. More shooting. Oops. Who else is shooting? Someone's shooting from over that direction. There he is. There we go. <sighs> of course there are. I don't know where. I don't know where they are. It's shooting out this way somewhere. There's one. On. Oh my gosh, we're going through the burning fields? Excellent. The burning fields full of guards. I definitely should have tried to kill these guys earlier. <laughs> also, my health is not great. Don't shoot the horse. Free the horses. How do I do that? Triangle to cut free. Ah, there we go. Come on, Sean. Hurry up. Oh, did he just get the payload as well? <laughs> of course he did. Mmm, tasty. I kind of wish I'd taken the white horse, but anyway. It's fine. They're not really uh, riding horses anyway, I don't believe. Sorry, horse. They seem to be very uh, work horsey. Okay, apparently I'm just gonna ride straight towards you. Oh, Sean, oh my gosh. This is not working very effectively right now. Oh my goodness, Sean. You're crazy. <laughs> I like that his horse had to jump that hedge and I just walked right through it. And apparently there wasn't anyone on the main gate. I thought going out the main gate was going to be very dangerous. But anyway, I guess they all came after me. Uh, how do I... There we go. That's better. Needed to holster my weapon. Yeah, these seems like uh, Clydesdale-y sort of horses. They're not big enough to be Clydesdales. But they've got the same, like, hairy feet. I think they're work horses. So, you know, not really going to keep this one. 
on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yes. Sure. Let's go. Where is my horse, though? I left it all the way back at the, um, Wraith Suites. I think they're the ones. I don't remember which ones which, I'll be honest. Uh, but yeah, I left it back at the, the fancy house with the cool driveway. Before I even got on the carriage. So hopefully my horse is now here. Yeah, nice. Uh, look, if I do, I'm not giving it to you. You can temporarily store one unbonded horse by hitching it in camp. Look, I don't think I really want this horse. I did try to hitch it. Just now. There we go. Nope. Go, go, go. Hitch. Stop turning in circles. Alright. Cool. Well, you're there. <laughs> Probably not really going to use you, but you're there. Alright, let's check out our map, because I think I've now lost the other quest. Anyway, that's fine. We're going to go talk to Bill. Bill Williamson. See what he's up to. Alright, now that I've gotten on my horse, I need to get off my horse. <laughs> I was just so excited to see my horse, you know. Good old George. Give him a pat. Good horse, George. Easy boy. Alright, where is Bill? Arthur! We need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm coming. Calm down. Alright, Bill's definitely a little bit further down my list. What is it? Of campmates. We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now we was preparing yeah, to my bad. Right until you got involved in all that nonsense and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get Cause in you're trouble, a fool and an idiot? One of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Get the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Man. Yeah, you know, sure. We can, quiet, we can hit it just fine. It's not what's gonna happen. Four of us, I mean. There's gonna be a regiment of Pinkertons or something in town. Arthur? So, <laughs> is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Performing, oh, eh? We put a lot of research into this one. What are we dressing so. up as? All right. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. He looks pretty hilarious. That man. The data? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Oh, of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Do yeah. I have to do that? Let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. <laughs> We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. What is that bag I have strapped right. over my shoulder? Follow me. It does not look like it should be strapped over my shoulder. <laughs> All right, let's go rob a bank, I guess. So, tell me again about 
about this big can't go wrong plan of yours? I'm not a fan of this music tone we're getting. Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like a lost little girl, but nobody <laughs> plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need a work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day... It's the reason she's good at playing drunken on. harlot, because she is a drunken in harlot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? No, he what? did not. No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems oh like yeah, sounds like some real hard work. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of iron from that fire right now. Yeah, I hope that's the sound we're supposed to be hearing. Morning, fella. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work <laughs> town and not hit the bank? <laughs> that's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. Well, now that you've brought it up. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll Good for you. Once things get going. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. Especially Bill. I definitely will not cause trouble. Yeah, seems like it should be pretty easy. <laughs> It'll help her really get in character. Thanks, Lenny. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. So I hope so. Alright. Guess we're doing this then. This is gonna give me a real big bounty, isn't it? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. <laughs> Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, Ooh, the music's finally dying down. I don't know what the hell that was. I thought it was just the music that went along with this quest, but no, it stopped and the quest isn't finished, so I don't know. That will have to wait. We're here. 
Let's take it nice and easy. I think I paid off my bounty for Valentine. There's one that I didn't pay off because it was like half of the money that I currently had. But I think that was the one for um, the weird bit over in the west. I forget what it was called. Strawberry? Maybe? Obviously I can't just pay off my bounty for Blackwater. Doug. Oh, I wanted to aim at the dog. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> Get ready. Duggo. Oh, the dogger left. It's gonna try to pat the dogger. Alrighty. Go to work. Of course. I don't know what option she's going with. She lost girl or uh, what was it? Drunken harlot. So we never decided. Is it lost little girl ah. or the drunken harlot? Uh, I want lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? Yep. Heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Open the door. I like how she unlocked it but didn't open it. Very helpful. I'm a terrible person. Do I need to aim my gun at him? Looks like he's doing it. Don't need to beat him up right now. He's he's working. He's doing it very slowly. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Do, do you need to get beaten again? I don't want to whack you again, but you were doing this very slowly, dude. There we go. I think I just broke that man's nose. I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. Oh, there he is. I, the, the, the manager does that. I, I... God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll craft him or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. All right. Can I can I crack him? All right, but you better be quick. Uh. You shut the hell up and stay still. I will try. You rotate the safe dial rotation on the L slowly down the closer you are to the correct safe number. Oops. Rotate counterclockwise. Time 
I don't know how slowly I have to be doing this. That was only one. It was like I had no idea what I was doing when I started doing it, so. I mean. Okay, I don't have a choice anymore. I assumed I would have a choice for every safe if I was going to uh, crack it or blow it up, but apparently not. Now that I've chosen to crack, I have to crack them all. $4,000, hell yes. I didn't see what the first one was. I assume probably pretty similar. Seems like I can go pretty quickly. It does say to slowly rotate, but... It hasn't seemed to have had a problem yet with me doing it pretty quickly. I don't know, it might be like if you go over the point that you're supposed to stop and go back the other way, it That's might wreck it. This is looking good. How much longer? No. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Eh, I've only got two safes left, you know. Last one. Come on. It's fine. We can totally wait for one more. We're all, we're all gonna die now because I cracked this last safe. <laughs> Alright, last one. Nice one. Excellent. Ooh, five thousand dollars! Hell yes. I'm walking real slow because I've got so much cash on me. I guess that's what those bags were—stuff to just store money in. I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. Can we like put our weapons away? I mean, this is like a, a west-ish town, wild west style town. Don't think it would be completely out of the ordinary to see people walking down the street with their guns out. But still. Well. Oh my gosh, don't just pull your guns out. They wouldn't have known it was us. Oh my goodness. Well, now they know it's us. Wanted dead or alive, excellent. And this time, let's not come back. Please, please and thank you. I feel like we're riding towards danger right now. Oh, that's just the dotted line. No, here's the bad guys. Well, I mean, I say bad guys. <laughs> here's the lawmen. Who are actually probably kind of the good guys. Technically. Uh, I mean, I see on the map that there are more coming towards me. Can I switch to a better gun? Don't know which gun is better. Sure. 
Any of my rifles, really. That's what I'm after right now. We're riding straight towards more. Oh my goodness, let's just ride in a different direction, guys. <laughs> I assume it wouldn't actually make a difference. I don't know where these guys came from. They seem to have come from not the town. So how they knew about the bank robbery is beyond me, but uh, you know, apparently they did. And they're coming for me, so. I know they didn't just answer their cell phone and find out who they were looking for. Just get like texted a photo of who is wanted. Ooh. I was pretty close on that. And that man became my mortal enemy. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, this you. is a very good take. I feel like we should have kept riding before we did this, but that's fine. It was fun. Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't mm, I guess that makes sense too. I was gonna say we should have done that at camp, but I mean, yeah, I guess. Ride to Downs Ranch. Alright. Not entirely sure who that is. I don't remember why I'm going to see them right this minute. But anyway. We're gonna go do it. And hopefully while we're doing it, we will figure out what it is that we're actually doing. I hope this was a purposeful file. Anyway, let's uh, go see this place I'm supposed to go to. Is it in the danger zone? Why do you gotta make it be in the danger zone? That's just rude. Mm, I'm just kind of like skirting along the edge of the river here. The river is the dangerous area. So we might be alright. Maybe. Might not be forcing me to go directly into danger. Thanks, I guess. family oh my gosh can I please not force this lady to pay me money <laughs> her husband just died my husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here Archie I nearly paid off what was owed your husband knew the rules when he took that money now I'm real sorry about the way things turned out but he had a choice ain't my fault about the way the world is he didn't have a choice he was good and he did good there wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself. And don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? I mean, the I game kind of terrible, didn't Mr. give me a choice. Otherwise, I'll feel I think. Sold a false bill of goods. Now, please. Probably could have beaten him a little less, but, you know. 
Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. So yeah, lack of respect. Your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? Well, at least I didn't beat that's her up, so... I'll have to take your word on that. I guess that's something. Good day. <laughs> Such a terrible person. I was hoping I could opt to not do that, but anyway. Alright, we'll see. Hopefully the, um... What's his name? I've forgotten his name. The weird dude in the suit. <laughs> Hopefully his quest is back. And we can do that next. Once I deliver all this money that I made. So much cash. $20,000! I did get silver on it too, that's not bad. Headshot 5 mounted lawman is what I missed and get to Downs Ranch within 1 minute 55 seconds. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh no, is that Michael? I see an M quest. Any other quests at all? Great, so I wanted dead or alive in Blackwater. I have a bounty of $120 in Valentine, and I'm not sure what the uh, bounty of $300 on the river. I'm not sure what that one is. Just got a couple of bounties. All right. This is Micah. It's Micah. I don't like Micah. I know that I'm not supposed to like Micah, and that's kind of his purpose, but oh my gosh, I do not like Micah. <laughs> I also don't like the fact that I can't run through the camp. Alright, Micah. Great. Wish I could antagonize him. They shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. That's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly <laughs> limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old Unlike man you. have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. <laughs> it's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking what? about? What? Peace with the O'Driscolls? That seems like a trap. In the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't. But so what, he begged to, to not have them fight him? And then he figured out a way to peace. Have you lost your minds? Always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of That's what I said. Probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Our lives? We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If ah, it ain't a trap, sure, that's no chance. worries. I don't can do. This. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Oh dear. Then he killed 
A woman I love dear. Mm. It's always a woman. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's Sorry, the yawns have started. Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, <laughs> my friend. Okay, bye. I don't even want to know what's in this. See, if I'd gotten to keep that white thoroughbred, I could have had a horse like Duchess. Mount up, then, Morgan. Let's go then. I was already mounted up and riding. No, I thought we might have been bringing Hosea with us. It's a shame. You know, I've been for so Jesus. I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Oh, the ones that I make. Just nervous. My plans are great. Everyone else's sucks. Hosea's are alright. of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get I mean... You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right Guess I do still have the sniper somewhere. I couldn't see it when I was looking through the weapons earlier. Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear. So let's take a look at that now. Uh... All right, what have we got? Carbine repeater, Lancaster repeater. I think it's, it's a Springfield rifle, is that it? And then give myself a shotgun. Is this, is this a snipey? Nope, I just switched switch to my thing, which maybe means that it is a the sniper. Because I probably cannot draw my sniper while I am riding a horse. Hopefully. We will find out soon. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Yeah, what was that about me not being in any danger? And then we see a whole gang of them. There's only like four or five. It's probably five. Us into situations that could have been safer. I just, I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, <laughs> caring too much. That's oh, I don't think that's your problem, Michael. There's no such thing. This well, is definitely not from, both of you. from Michael. Michael. Oh goodness. <laughs> Eyes twitching too. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? <laughs> I don't know. I got very serious there. <laughs> Touch. Keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However, 
this shakes out. Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. All right, let's go. Find somewhere to observe from. I mean, I say find. Just go to the dot, basically. Whoa. Some vultures? Ooh, okay, that's definitely not the gun I want. None of these are- neither of these are the guns that I just equipped. You know? Where's my horse gone? Come here, horse. Why do I have weird weapons? I would like... I think it's a Springfield rifle. Whoa. Springfield rifle, and then down here I want the shotgun. Alright, what have we got? It doesn't look right either. Uh, what else? Is it... Carbine repeater, long arm shoulder, long arm shoulder, rolling block rifle. That looked like it had a big scope on it. There we go. That's the one. That's what I'm looking for. Rolling blo block rifle. I'm going to forget that immediately. But that's my snipey. All right. Use binocular. Anybody else? Hmm? Only three? I was half expecting like 15 of them to rock up. That would have been fun. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. These binoculars sure. slash gun scope so, uh, also have uh, advanced hearing. Better world. Pure world. Hmm? What do you How's call them? The spies have them. The, the big, the big audio uh, disc things pointed in the right direction. Stick it in your ear. <laughs> oh, like Parabolic that. microphones. Like said, is that the thing? Leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. If I just shoot Colm right here. I never liked him. Are we good? I like. I assume they'll come after us if we do. Ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? It does seem like we're technically pretty even. Oh. Well, that's bad. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Callum's got a sense. Yeah. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In He's escaping. Shoot him. Flash. No. Don't shoot me. Uh oh. 
<laughs> they show <shot> me. <laughs> Did I actually just die? Nope, nope, we're still alive. I think, kinda, maybe. <laughs> This is real hard to see. I'm on a horse. See shadow horse. See a leg. It's a fun place to be in. Finally, put his weapons over there. Wrapped in a bloody basement? Well, this is nice. Arthur Morgan. Hey, Colm. Uh, hello, Colm. <laughs> oh, and I'm upside down. Nice. I hardly feel it. You will. Septic. What is on my head? Tell me. Come ride with me and make real money. Yeah, I don't want money. Oh, no. It's Dutch's famous cars. Cars, ma. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no idea what you're talking about. My bad. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Colm. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. Look, I see it. They get him. Real problems, unlike the these people they killed my family friends. problems. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had me. <laughs> oh, I know you would. See, we learn angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you. Then disappear. You only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> he gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of it feels so special, you know. I'll be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. I did not miss you. Rude. All right, now what? Are we are we gonna escape? Or are we just gonna hang around and wait? What's the plan here, Arthur? Can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. This can be used to pick your lock. Alright, got some momentum going. Nice, nice. One more. Grab file. Nope. There you go. Oh. And he passed out again for a good ten minutes. <laughs> Oh no, what are we cauterizing? The oh, wound in our shoulder, I guess. Mm. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Just positioning and twisting the vial, which was not heated up for long over a tiny candle. I don't think it would have done very well. That seems more effective.
Thought I just missed the stealth kill option for a second there. I was rather concerned. Ooh, I picked up some throwing knives. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. Do I need to equip that? I do. But I kind of want to not have to fight them, but also I'm now going in the opposite direction to where my horse is, which is not ideal. If I like loop back around. Real sneaky like. These are not my horse. My horse is over this side. George, let's go. Get me out of here. Oh dear, the Idriscals are patrolling the roads around the cabin, evade them and escape the area. Oh god. I see one. And another one, that one's gonna see me. Surely, surely that guy saw me. I feel like they're going a little bit easy on me here. It is quite difficult to see what's happening. I'm mostly looking at my map. Trying to keep an eye out for Odriscals. Hopefully that's all that they're patrolling. So they were patrolling the area around the cabin. I did just pass out, so... Hopefully... We'll be back at the camp safely. Good horsey can can find camp on own by following yellow line. You just gotta follow the yellow line, horsey. Easy peasy. All right, looks like I am kind of conscious again now, so I guess I am directing it somewhat. I hope I get my gear back. It wasn't anything that I particularly would be upset about losing, just the fact of having weapons. I assume we're going to find out that Dutch already left to try and save us. Arthur. And has sprung the trap. Arthur. I told you it was just set up to us. No, there's Dutch. Boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Did you lead them right to him? Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson's gonna set the law on our law. Of course he wants. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. I don't know how much help Swanson's gonna be. I assume he's drunk. Now, okay. Am I? Yeah, yeah. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll I mean, I was just saying how easy it was for me to escape. Home. Might have been on purpose. <laughs> Surely they're not going to attack the camp now because I will just die. I won't be able to help defend the camp. It's like if one person followed me, they might have just been scouting where we were. A few weeks later. It, it wouldn't take them a few weeks to come after us, though, so I think we're good. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Thanks, I guess. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. I need to give myself a haircut. Uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. The gangs have replaced your stolen weapons. They are on your saddle. Excellent. Thank you. Much appreciated. Alright, let's take a look at what we've got going on now. The Trelawney one is back. Excellent. Is that the only quest we have right now? 
does appear to be the only main quest anyway. Alright, let's go talk to Trelawney then, shall we? Actually, how uh, how's like my health? Oh no, health's all back up. Could do with uh, some food for my horse more than anything. No thank you. I don't want to go beat people up for their money, it's rude. Uh, let's give you a brush. And give you a feed. And also just a pat. Good boy. He's a good boy. Uh, and then I would like to check my weapons. No? No weapons? Cool. And just have my item menu. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Arthur. Are you Arthur? Busy, Arthur? Well, Never. Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? Friends in very low places. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No. <laughs> well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The it does sound like a problem. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well... That's where the odds come into it. Mean, sometimes I it is, sometimes it's not. Your new best friend and... He's he's going to give you all the decent robbable stagecoaches a hot blooded degenerate could require. <laughs> well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rose. I didn't go and cut my my hair, but anyway, that's fine. We're just gonna be a bit rugged for a little bit. Lead the way and we'll find out. Alright, let's go. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. Friends in very low places, according to this quest. I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's games, <laughs> rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, I did pick up his shares, right? Do I need to give them back to him? Do I just keep them for myself? You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. I do like anyway, Trelawney's horse as well, the white with the dark patches. Which is very nice. I don't know any of the names for the horse colours. So where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Here we are. Ooh. Can you control your horse? Whoops! <laughs> oh dear. That was a good one. Straight into the sign. I was trying to turn a little bit later than that, but he turned very quickly. Uh, here we go. Hitch the horse! Alright, Trelawney, let's go. Introduce me to this man. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh yes, I can be very scary. I forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Mmm, yay, Bill. I thought I'd nab you first. My favorite. Okay. Thanks. That's the word in town. 
Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. <gasps> Terrible woman. But how's work, Alden? I mean, that could be fun. Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horseless carriage will be the end of it. Oh, no. <laughs> the horseless carriage. They invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. I don't know how a horseless carriage is going to be a problem for him. No man at all. Faster, easier travel. As a present for you. You're a mailman. Is that not what you want? Pay Alden. Yes, here's your present. How much am I paying you? Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us. A fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. I want to know how much I paid him. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men. <laughs> discouraged men. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I Aren't we all? Adieu. <laughs> oh, adieu, Josiah. Inspect document. Coach robbery tip. Coach coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Valuables in strong box. Packenger. Packenger. Passenger. Is the very wealthy Mrs. Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. <laughs> Use your imagination. What does that mean? All right, horsey. Water strand, he said. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, oh, of course, go. let us go. I prefer when I'm not having to follow other people. I like just following the road. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. <laughs> Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Look, like he said, nothing's changed. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back Everyone's working the side hustles these days. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. <laughs> Gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. Oh, of course. We're hoping to be long gone Sounds like a pretty good deal, really. Just has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Okay. There's no crossword crossroad where you just said that, but okay. Not entirely sure which crossroad he's talking about, but I'm sure the game will point me in the correct direction. Yeah, this is the spot. At the required time. Like how I said this is the spot okay. and then just kept riding. <laughs> sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well. According to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. Simple. How do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. Ooh, lockpick. Do, do this silently? Well, I'm hoping. Uh, no, can you? Silence won't be necessary, but you're going to wish you had your earplugs. Oh, he's going to ask her to sing. Oh, very good, old and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Oh dear. Lockbreaker. Right My lockpick is called Lockbreaker. Distance so they don't see you. And 
Please leave that gun in its holster for one. I feel like you need to be moving faster there, Trelawney. The stagecoach is getting away from you. I'm supposed to be staying in the back. You're supposed to be stopping them. How do I get out of this view? There we go. Giuseppe. What a name. You flatter everybody, Trelawney. Don't even pretend otherwise. Waiting for her to exit the. Oh, just broke a sign. Whoops. What's this guy doing? He's gonna be a problem if he doesn't leave, turn around, do something. Alright, we're gonna find out just how bad she is. I don't know why she has to get out to be able to sing, but anyway. Loot the strong box without being detected. Okay, there we go. That guy has turned around and left. He had to get away from the singing. Is that what happened? <laughs> I don't know if I should have ridden the horse up that close, but anyway. Alright, let's zoom in on Trelawney, because I think we're safe now. Ah, yes, beautiful. I'll be honest, it wasn't, like, obviously absolutely terrible. <laughs> it wasn't great. But it wasn't the worst thing I've ever heard. I wasn't particularly listening, but, you know, I didn't have to block my ears, so it's probably a good sign. Alright, well, that went surprisingly well. Is it going to go badly still? I never know. Everything usually does go badly. This one kind of seemed pretty smooth. Well done, sir. Well done. Unless they turn around and come back Real after me. Work. We might be alright. Jolly good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Thanks, Trelawney. Oh my goodness, I have three thousand I have nearly four thousand dollars? Jesus. When did that happen? <laughs> Uh, complete within 8 minutes and 10 seconds. I did not do that. That's fine. Uh, alright. So... Next, I think it wants me to talk to Bill in town. But I think I'm actually going to finish up here for today. Seems like a pretty good place to stop. We, uh, got captured by some... What are they called? O'Driscolls? We escaped. 
That seemed rather anticlimactic, that part. We just, we got captured, we escaped. We had to heal from our wound and then we just went back to our regular stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna ride back to camp so that we're somewhere nice and neutral and safe. Probably, hopefully safe. Uh, and then yeah, we'll uh, finish up for today. This is a very tall barn. Oh, is it a barn or is it like a um, train something? It's probably something to do with the train. May explain the height, potentially. I don't know. Probably got a crane in it to put stuff on the train. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is not what I wanted. Uh, I don't even have any good guns on me. Excellent. We're shooting these guys with revolvers. Fantastic. Love that. Ooh, I'm getting into some sort of cover. Maybe, hopefully. No? Okay. I feel like he's still alive. He is still alive. Come on. Come on. Somewhere in between those two. Shot the rail and then I shot his hat off. Come on. Come on. Cover? Really? No? No cover? Oh my gosh. I need to open- ooh. That was not actually what I intended to do, but okay. Drank some sort of tonic. I was trying to open my satchel. Uh, but you know, it seems to have saved me for the moment. Which is the important thing. Uh, but I do definitely need to do something to actually fix my core. Uh, yeah, some pineapple. Sounds delicious. Alright, well that was fun. Uh, that was a nice little bit of excitement. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anyone else on the way back to the camp. Fingers crossed. Oh dear. Nobody else gonna blow up, blow up any random carriages. Alright, looks like we are nearly there anyway. Well, that was fun. Uh, does my horse actually have the weapons? There we go. I would like... Uh, let's go with the Springfield rifle and the double barrel shotgun. Please. I don't actually know what I want. I know I want some sort of rifle, uh, and that's about it. I don't know which of the rifles does anything, if there's any difference between any of the rifles. Not sure. What do you want, Karen? Oh, are you heading out onto guard duty? Or just doing laps? Not sure. Not sure what you're doing. Can I like, can I do anything with Dutch's horse? I can study it. Tell me about this horse. Stay away from me. Oh yeah. But I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh yeah. You. you always and think it is. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Am I? Sad man indeed. Am I the sad man? All right, uh, I think if I go to story and then save. I'm never quite sure how to do the save. I mean, obviously I am sure because I got it right, but, you know. 29.4%. Again, I'm not sure if that's just the storyline or if that's everything. I don't know. Huh. Let me switch over to this for a moment. 
Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks everyone for coming and hanging out. Lakita, thank you for the resub. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I should be back on Monday night and Wednesday night with some Assassin's Creed revelations. And then I'll be back next Saturday with more of this lovely uh, Wild West shooting horse game. <laughs> it's good fun. Uh, but yeah, that's it from me. Hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you again some other time. Bye.